Joining us live to discuss this further is Ali, Ali Heshmanan, president of Kinetic Financial. Thank you so much for joining us, Ali. Thank you for having me, Rachel. And the fall of Silicon Valley and Signature Bank seemed to come as a surprise to a lot of people. Is there a reason no one seemed to see this coming? Well, there's a lot of questions about that, whether it was the watering down of Dodd-Frank or just the lack of regulation on smaller banks. There is a lot of concern about what this means, not just for these two banks, but also what that might mean for other bigger banks. And so a lot of people are scared about a potential run on the banks, which is a kind of self-fulfilling prophecy because people get concerned. So they take money out of the banks and that can in turn cause that run on the banks. And how is this affecting startups in need of funding? Are they struggling to get more investors? Yeah, uh, especially tech startups, but in general, startups and businesses altogether are having a lot of credit issues because of rising interest rates. And we recently saw interest rates rise again uh, due to the fact that inflation is causing the Fed to make some big decisions on how they are going to adjust these interest rates moving forward. Right. And Ali, do you think we should prepare for more layoffs, other banks becoming more cautious about lending money? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, Rachel, to make sure that people are prepared for the potential of layoffs. We're seeing the labor markets shift greatly. And so making sure that you have a proper emergency fund in place in case there are any potential layoffs, I think is the most diligent thing investors can do right now. So regulators, they're blaming mismanagement and panic for SVP, SVB's downfall. Is this a management issue? Yeah, it is a bit. Uh, there's definitely some execution errors that were made uh, because a lot of people said that they should have seen this coming. Uh, I think the biggest thing is that they just weren't well diversified in these bank situations. These are kind of isolated situations that were heavily based off of tech startups and cryptocurrency, a little bit different than what we saw in 2008 and 2009 when these banks were holding a lot of toxic assets due to the subprime mortgage issues that were going on. So this is quite a different situation, but it feels the same. And is there a way stricter regulation would have helped? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think without a question, strict regulation would have helped. But I think the most important pe thing people can do is take care of yourself, regardless of regulation, uh, making sure that your deposits are FDIC insured or have some sort of secondary guarantee on it is the best thing that people can do, making sure that you title assets the right way, diversify over a number of banks instead of putting all your money with just one bank and making sure that you're avoiding those isolated situations with smaller banks that are invested heavily in some certain type of asset. Great advice, Ali. You just answered what would have been my, my final question. Do you have anything to add that maybe I didn't ask that's important to the average person right now? Just stay resilient, I guess, would be the main thing that I would say. Don't panic. Uh, we've seen this stuff happen before. Right now, it's a bit concerning because the stock market has been very volatile. We're seeing declines in bond prices, and now you're concerned about where your money might be safe. Uh, just make sure that you are resilient, you're diversified, you have a good financial plan in place. If anybody's looking for some additional resources on that, they can visit our website at kineticfinancial.com. But those are the main things that people should be looking out for right now, I think. Okay, thank you, Ali Hashemnan. We appreciate you. Pleasure's all mine, Rachel. Thank you for having me.